Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Mode. Here we have interesting equation square root of x minus square root of minus x equal to zero. On the first side there is no roots because we have minus right here and we how we can figure out with it. But I want to suggest to you a real quick trick right here, an inequality method how to solve this. Because you know if we have square roots, this x or everything inside the square roots can should be greater than zero, greater or equal than zero. So I want to suggest you a real quick inequality method how to solve this. Let's take a look right here. We have x inside our square root. So this x should be greater or equal to 0. And this, in the same way, should be greater or equal to 0. Minus x should be greater or equal to 0. OK, we have two inequalities. Of course, we can solve this. First of all, we can write this first x is greater than 0 or equal to 0 and this we multiply it by minus 1 and of course we need to change our inequality sign so we will have x is less than 0 or equal to 0 so I wanted to draw a real quick graph right here because we have our 0 right here and the first inequality works when x is greater or equal to 0. So this is our first inequality. First inequality. And right here x is less than 0 or equal to 0. So we have our second inequality right here. Inequality. So as you can see one and only way that this system works is when x is equal to 0 because this inequality works in the left way and this in the right, so our common point is will be x equal to 0. So, take a look right here. Let's try to put 0 right here and try to check our root using this inequality method. We will have square root, square root of 0 minus square root of minus 0 equal to 0. Of course, this works because we will have 0 minus 0 equal to 0. And of course we can write an alternative form assuming that x is greater than 0, so if this is alternative form, form assuming x is greater than 0. So if, if x is greater than 0 we will have an interesting case because we will have a square root of x square root of x minus square root of minus x, it can be written as minus 1 times x equal to 0. This right in the same way, square root of x, and this can be written as square root of minus 1 times square root of x equal to 0. We know that square root of minus 1 equal to e. So an interesting form right here, we can be we can write it as square root of x minus e square root of x equal to 0. Square root of x and square root of x we can factor out as a common, so we will have square root of x and in parentheses we will have 1 minus e. This is an alternative form assuming x is greater than 0, so this is a little bit complex numbers right here and this is in inequality method, so which one you like the most. Write your suggestion in the comment, write your question in the comment, write your maybe faster method how to solve this. It will be really interesting to read your comments. Don't forget to subscribe, to put thumbs up, I really appreciate it. And thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.